Okay guys, we're back with another video. This time we're going to talk about genetics and gaining size. So, when it comes to genetics, we're going to talk about determinism, the perception of social media, training, and examples of genetics. And I wanted to touch on the topics of different videos about size and so on, because I think it's very well related to this topic. And I feel like it's a little bit lacking or there's a lot. some people make these videos about gaining size and I think I need to give a little rant take on it a little bit but I'm not gonna be too harsh anyhow let's get into it genetics so genetics is the big topic in the fitness industry where people talk about all these different things relating to genetics like are my genetics good and comparing to everybody else and nobody really wants to talk about their own genetics if they're good or bad they just want to credit everything to their own work of course and you know I would say to relate this to myself as an example I don't think I inherently have terrible genetics or particularly good genetics in some areas I can tell that I have better genetics but if I relate to the training clip going on right now for example I think my bench genetics are average at best and that's always been a struggle area of mine but these are something some of the things that you find out the longer you honestly train is the longer you train the more you find out about your genetics but even when you start out training you you're gonna have a certain baseline where you're just good at specifically certain things so that's really gonna tell you where your genetics are gonna take you to an extent maybe not in terms of size but in terms of strength at least for example let's just say you start at 140 kilogram deadlift as your one rep max deadlift when you start out training that would be a pretty good indicator of uh, having good genetics and you could have high other lifts as well while you're at it now with genetic determinism there's a lot of people that might predetermine that they're gonna look a certain way or get a certain amount of strength and they have a limit this is something that has been going on quite a lot in the natural community talking about limits and breaking limits and I think that's positive to encourage and that's something I apply in my own training is I don't believe inherently in any kind of a limit of course you can be realistic with um, progress and achieving certain things but I think when it comes to overall determinism I don't think you can really determine where you're going to be able to take yourself because you, at the end of the day the sport is where you spend the rest of your life training if you don't then I don't understand why you would lift honestly because that's the whole point it's for life and that's where determinism kind of doesn't matter because at the end of the day you're still always going to have a certain amount of limit breaking because you're always going to train so you're always going to improve till you get to that point where you're so old that you're probably going to start losing strength and size over time and that's the natural way unless you start taking something when you're older or testosterone or anything like that so I wouldn't really recommend that personally at least at this stage um, as far as social media goes in social media a lot of times you have a lot of people talking about genetics whether that's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, doesn't matter a lot of people talk about um, people having great genetics and whatever but the thing about social media is you have to remember that social media is not inherently real and a lot of the things you see on social media are a lot of times fake as in like the social media it's easy to fake on Instagram you know perfect lighting perfect angle you know pump etc like you can add all these little var variables into the different pictures videos or whatever and to make yourself look better of course some people genuinely are like very good looking and they have a great body and they will look good regardless but like even then those people can add on top all these variables and make themselves look amazing and that's where genetics are kind of dumb because you could take two people or even the same person and put them under the wrong circumstances and the right circumstances in one picture and another and you would have two completely different people hell even taking myself as an example I can look completely different under the perfect lighting with the perfect camera quality 
perfect angle, everything. I can look amazing. And then if I take another picture in shitty lighting and I don't care about anything like that, and I don't edit the picture or anything like that, it will, I will probably look drastically different if the angle is not perfect, etc. So it just like it just goes to show you that there's really no point worrying about such things. Now, I think for examples of genetics, I mean, for myself, it's hard for me to say like what my baseline would have been for me because I never really saw myself as skinny because I was uh, very obese when I was younger. So if I compare myself to that obese self and now of course there's a massive difference but it's hard to say where I would be if I was skinny, if I had just been a skinny kid my entire life. And uh, then I just like built some muscle and got to where I'm at now then it would probably be a little bit different and so on. So it's a bit interesting in that regard. Um, and as far as examples go otherwise, I can probably pop up on some screen, uh, maybe some video or pictures of people and their transformations and maybe some examples as well of social media, perfect lighting and non-perfect lighting. A lot of, um, especially people who use PEDs and post on Instagram, so a lot of people do this like uh, fakeness on social media where they edit their pictures and everything and then other people get dis put in dysmorphia and they think that that's like their goal body when they look at a picture of a guy who's like perfect everything in that specific picture but he doesn't most of the time they don't look like that or if they if you look at uh, fitness influencers social media pictures versus their actual videos on youtube they look drastically different because they on the videos they can't really fake their size so they're going to look drastically smaller and different because they're not under the perfect circumstance compared to a picture so that's why it's very toxic to compare yourself to that now to switch on the topic we're going to talk about videos on size and gaining size so for the different muscle groups there's a bunch of videos that people make on gaining size which are fine you know i don't have a problem with that inherently like if you want to share your favorite exercises go ahead and do that what I personally have a problem with is when people make these type of gaining size videos like uh, top five whatever to gain size on this specific X part and it's like some weird ass exercise that's what I have a problem with or they're not actually like tested methods of training or anything like that and they just provide like some weird ass exercise that nobody has ever heard about that's what i really have a problem with as well as when it comes to the different muscle groups a lot of people do these videos where they do like uh how i grew my chest and you know this is fine you know if they just want to share their own experience but if they're trying to actually teach people how to grow like their chest for example and they're like using themselves as an example let's say they have a really good genetics and they have a naturally big chest and uh, the thing about that is you know it's fine to share your own ex experience and everything but if you're fairly naturally gifted in a certain muscle group and then you're teaching other people about gaining size on it that's fine if you actually share some good exercises that are generally good and there's nothing wrong with that but when you start if you don't mention the fact that you might have genetics that just make you more predisposed to having a bigger chest for example and other people are trying to compare themselves and try to achieve the same chest but they don't realize it's the insertion of the chest for example that makes that chest specifically good for uh, specifically gaining size on it and that's something I have a problem with and I, I have a tendency to see this a lot from a lot of influencer type people is they have this uh, interesting idea of making videos about different muscle groups and how to gain size on them but they specifically might have a genetic strong disposition to gain size on those but you know there's nothing wrong with sharing exercises that are your favorites for gaining size but I think this is where I would put in a lot of these videos should mention like actually like you can experiment with these exercises but at the end of the day finding like 
what is optimal for the individual watching the video is more important than what worked for the guy making the video. Now, that's pretty much all I had to say on this topic, really. I just wanted to kind of rant about genetics and uh, videos that talk about size because I feel like I see too much of it. I personally don't like watching these type of videos because I don't feel like I gain anything out of them usually. I, more, I gain more out of videos that talk about exercises specifically and not how I grew my chest or something like this because it's just it's kind of pointless in my opinion because it's what worked for you and for your specific insertions and genetics. So I like to talk more about exercises that work for everybody that are true and tested. I think that makes more sense. I might expand on this topic some other time, perhaps go over my even own experience with this topic as well as make videos on actually on gaining size with different exercises or different muscle groups and strength versus bodybuilding etc but for now that's pretty much my rant on this topic and uh, for the coming future I have some self-improvement content coming out as well as more lifting videos so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching hope you have a good night or day whatever it is for you